All right, so what we're going to do in this video is we're just going to explore the rectangle tool um, and basically what it can do and, and some other palettes that you may get involved with color and stuff like that, just as far as um, just some really kind of easy, simple tools. So the rectangle tool is right here. And incidentally, if you hold on it, right, you can get ellipse and a polygon tool as well. So right now we're just going to start with the rectangle tool. And I'm going to draw a box. If you hold down shift, just like in Illustrator and or Photoshop, right, I can strain my proportions. So in this case, I want it to be an outline. So I flip this little thing over here and there's my outline. I want to draw another one, right? So I'm going to grab it. The shortcut for that is M. Um, I'm going to draw another one. And this time I want it to be this color. So we could do one of two things. I could use the eyedropper, which is here, and just grab it. Or I could double click and just get a color close to it, right? It doesn't need to be identical, it's just a color. So I can move this in here, but what I want you to notice is you see it says RGB color space. Well, for print, we're not dealing with RGB, we're dealing, dealing with CMYK. So what you need to do is make sure you click inside of any one of the CMYK boxes. Um, no, that didn't work. Oh, hmm, that's interesting. Let's see, so now as I do OK, um, let's check my colors. Yeah, so now it's CMYK, otherwise it would have added it as RGB. Okay. So once you have that, here's the next step that I want you to do. Once you have that color, um, a couple things is we always need to even out these colors, like really get in the habit even though on the first day. So in set of 7, 12, 10, try to keep it to 5. So instead of being 12, this will be 10. All right, so 70, 10, 0, 0. I'm going to add that to my swatches. So I need to click and hold for my swatches palette and then drag it in to it. Okay, um, so we're going to do that step again. So I'm going to drag another box that's here. And this time I'm going to color it something different. Um, make sure, let's do pink color, make sure we click inside the boxes. And again, I would even out the colors here, 80, and let's make that 85. Um, I'm actually gonna add that CMYK swatch right to here, right, boom, there it is, add it, and we're gonna do okay. And then there you go. Now I have my CMYK swatch, I, uh, right, using my color palette, here it is in my swatches palette, and very easy. What I like about uh, InDesign using color is you can see I can click on this and I can do any tints of that color right there, which is really nice. So let's do one more box um, just to show you how I could take this color. So let's say um, I did duplicate it just like I did and I want to change this color. Um, I'm going to go to the little flyout menu that's here inside the swatches and I'm going to do new color swatch. And it brings up this dialog box. What I really like about this dialog box is I can just hit add and I can keep adding these color swatches, add, until I feel like I'm done with it. And so now I have inside my swatches palette, I have all these colors, right, that I use. So let's change this color to this yellow. Let's bring it back up to 100%. Let's change this orange now to this blue. And you can see now I have all my color swatches that are in here. Let's switch this to a fill, change that to this orange. And it very easily allows me to put these colors in the color swatches.